Floods Management Committee yesterday reviewed the flood situation in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala and Gujarat. The NCMC chaired by Cabinet Secretary P.K. Sinha took stock of the current situation, preparedness and rescue and relief operations. It also directed that immediate assistance as sought by the states be provided to meet the crisis. As of now, 55 teams of the NDRF are deployed in flood-hit states and 19 more are expected to reach today. 16 columns of the Army, 30 rescue teams of the Navy and Coast Guard, along with helicopters, aircrafts and boats have been pressed into service. Additional boats are also being deployed in Maharashtra and Karnataka. The Med Department has predicted that more rains in Gujarat, Maharashtra and coastal Karnataka over the next two days. The NCMC has directed release of necessary advance from the State Disaster Response Fund to affected states. Concerned agencies were also advised to undertake immediate work relating to crop insurance claims. And floods have affected several parts of Maharashtra as well, throwing normal life out of gear. Kolhapur, Sangli, Satara and surrounding areas have received very heavy rains in the last few days, leading to a flood-like situation. Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis reviewed the flood situation in the state yesterday. He also chaired a meeting at Kolhapur with various officials and agencies to review the flood situation in Kolhapur, Sangli and Satara. Chief Minister instructed for various measures for food, drinking water, health care, shelter and coordination among all the agencies. He also assured that various agencies including Army, Navy, Air Force, NDRF, Indian Coast Guard, SDRF and local administration were working hard to rescue people. The Chief Minister added that Union Home Minister Amit Shah has assured all assistance to the state and he himself had talked to Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa on the Almaty discharge. Nearly 2,3,000 people have been, have been rescued and saved while more than 28,000 animals have been shifted to safer locations. 267 temporary camps have been set up across flood affected areas. And joining us now is our 